Here we've got a problem to do with conditional probability. To begin with, we're going to label our branches with a ginger, chocolate and digestive biscuits. We can do that for both branches. And now we can label the probabilities. So to begin with, there are five out of five ginger biscuits out of ten in total, three chocolate, and two digestive. Now notice that near taken out at random and neither biscuit is replaced. So you've taken one ginger biscuit out, which means there will be four left out of nine in total. The chocolate biscuits we haven't taken out yet, so they will all be left out of nine. All the initial chocolate biscuits are left and there's nine biscuits in total. The digestive the same, so that would be two ninths. The same for the ginger, five ninths. But we have taken out a chocolate biscuit, so that will be two chance two ninths and two ninths for the digestives. Now we know we're doing this correctly because you can see every branch is adding up to a whole or to one which is in probability certain you will get one kind of biscuit. Now, it's asked us to work out the probability that they were both the same type. That means it could be a ginger biscuit and a ginger or a chocolate biscuit followed by another chocolate biscuit or a digestive biscuit fo followed by another digestive. Now, in probability, the word and means multiply and the word or is addition so we have five tenths multiplied by four ninths you can see this um, this tree here this path so five tenths times four ninths plus three tenths times two ninths plus two tenths times one ninth we can work these out so we have twenty ninetieths plus six ninetieths plus two ninetieths. So in total, there's a probability of 28 over 90. And we can simplify this fraction to make 14 45ths. Thank you for watching and